at three, having a baby isn't cheap. We all know that. Diapers alone can cost up to $100 a week. And during a pandemic, it's an expense many families just don't have in the budget. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd shows us how Baby Cycle Diaper Bank is meeting a growing need. Well, according to Baby Cycle, one in three families in Tampa Bay will have to choose between paying their bills and buying diapers for their kids. And that was before the pandemic. I have one family that I deliver to, and when I get there, she cries every week. It is just a blessing to see how big of an impact it has on their day-to-day -day life to be able to give them those basic essentials. Noelle Chase delivers an average of 250 diapers to 10 different families every week as a member of the Healthy Start Coalition of Pinellas. It's one of 31 social service agencies that depend on Baby Cycle Diaper Bank for supplies. During the pandemic, we are experiencing requests three to four times higher than normal right now. Many of them are between a rock and a hard place and not able to pay for diapers and wipes because they're barely getting by to pay their electricity or rent. This month, Tori Josawan accepted the COVID-19 Hero Award from Tampa Mayor Jane Castor on behalf of Baby Cycle for all the work they've done to help families in need. We're super grateful and we hope that it will bring some new donors in and it will bring some light on diaper need, which is a huge, huge problem in our area. Noelle says when it comes to essential items for your baby, no family should have to live without them. Donations are more important now than ever. These families that have worked so hard to get to a place where they've been taking care of themselves are now what they consider back at the bottom and trying to start all over again. In Pinellas County, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.